What's going on guys, Jaycoon Prime here with another Destiny 2 video, and I got an exciting one for us today. Bungie just released all the information for the upcoming seasonal event that happens on October 29th through November 15th, I believe, which is the Festival of the Lost. You guys may have remembered this from last year, it was a ton of fun. So let's actually read through the details here and see what's going to be in store for us this year. I think it may be a lot of the same, just some new incentives, some new items, maybe some returning items as well. I moved over to PC shortly after the Festival of the Lost last year, so on PC I was never able to basically get the upgraded version of my favorite weapon in the game, which was known as the Origin Story which was like the first auto rifle they give you in Destiny 2. It's like the very first one they give you. And the horror story is what they were giving away in the Festival of the Lost last year, which was basically just like the new version of the gun. And I wasn't able to get it, and I'll probably never be able to get it again because they're probably going to do a new weapon this year. So that makes me incredibly sad. But let's read through this and see what's going to be in store for us. If you could leave a like rating on the video, I would definitely appreciate it. It shows your support, and it really helps the channel out, and I really appreciate it. So if you could leave a thumbs up, that'd be great. In a universe where darkness appears around every corner and death usually follows, it's important to gain courage by looking fear in the face. Candy helps, too. After taking a year off, Ava Levante has returned as the herald of the Festival of the Lost. This holiday is a time for Guardians to don irreverent masks and celebrate the memories of those that are lost. As a growing threat looms ever-present, return to the tower, grab some candy, and remind yourself what you're fighting for. With Ava's return comes a renewed dedication to decorations. Candies, lights, cobwebs, and pumpkins adorn every nook and cranny of the tower to ensure spirits will be raised. Let's have a look-see at this right here. Well, let us zoom in. Okay, no, it won't. So where the solstice statue was and where the dawning stuff was and the revelry was. So basically she's going to be setting up shop right in the middle of the tower just like she did with Solstice at Heroes. The, what are those, little engram ornaments on the tree? That looks cool. That looks really cool. I dig it. Definitely dig the Halloween vibe. Speak with Ava to begin your journey and acquire a Masquerader helmet to participate. Earn chocolate strange coins from bounties and activities to purchase Festival of the Lost mask ornaments for your new helmet. All Destiny 2 players can partake in the festivities, including new light players who need to be 770 powered to begin. So this is completely free, folks. You don't have to pay to participate in this event. It's open to everyone. Who doesn't love free content, am I right? And let's see, let's look at some of the masks that we have here. So we have a very, very grumpy looking Emperor Callus. <laughs> that that mask right there, he looks like he is like just revving up to take the meanest shit he has ever had in his life. Uh, we have a Shadowkeep Hive Acolyte. We have a Vex Goblin. We got the Drifter, if for some reason you want to run around and talk like the Drifter the entire time. You have... Uh, for those that have completed Shadowkeep, you actually may recognize this because you can actually buy this in real life uh, with the promotional code that they give you for actually beating Shadowkeep, and it's an Eris Morn mask. So, like, no joke, if you beat Shadowkeep, Bungie will email you a code if you have a Bungie account where you can go to the store and actually purchase this mask and actually build it, wear it, all that type of stuff. I might actually go and buy the mask just to mess around with it on stream for the Festival of the Lost. We'll, we'll see how that plays out. And then this looks like a Fallen Kel mask, but I'm not stupid. I know who this is. That is our Fallen Bunny who has actually sided with the Guardians. And that is Mithrax right there. The man we helped out in Zero Hour. Backed by popular demand, Candy makes its sweet return as a reward to be spent towards mystery grab bags and the Bray Tech Werewolf Legendary Auto Rifle. Okay, so I'm not getting the horror story back, but at least I'm getting another auto rifle, so I can have a chance of getting 
it may not look like the horror story, but I can get the role of the horror story, so it just kind of winds up evening itself out one way or another. <laughs> After acquiring the Furley Masterwork 950 power weapon, create your own monster with random rolls. So yeah, like, uh, I believe, let's see here, the horror story perks on it were Flared Magwell, which increased reload, Zen Moment, which kept the gun accurate, and then Rampage, which made the gun more powerful with each enemy that you killed until the magazine was dry. So the possibility of me not so much getting the horror story look, but the horror story roll is still a thing, so I'm fine with that. Yep, and as I thought, we're going back to the Haunted Forest. While the festival is underway, Guardians are needed to return once more to the Haunted Forest and defeat the fiends, ghouls, and terrors that lie within. You'll have 15 minutes to make it as far as you can go, but beware of what awaits you at the end. If that platform that falls out from underneath you and that giant hive boss is sitting there again... I am going to be so upset. <laughs> I remember seeing that for the first time. And I was like, wait, what the hell is this? Oh, my God! Oh, my God, everybody panic! It, it was... It, it's a boss that we've seen a million and a half times. I'm pretty sure about halfway through the forest. The guy actually starts following you throughout the thing. And you've seen him a ton of times in Ascended Challenges. It's that big brooding hive... That's walking around with the giant axe and like the floor falls out right at the end and just drops you in a pit with only one way out with that guy blocking the exit. And yeah, it it was it was cool, it was terrifying, and then it got annoying. Terrorverse. There are more treats to be had in Eververse if you'd like to further customize your Guardian's costume from spooky scary skeleton armor ornaments to jack-o'-lantern masks we're sure you'll find something to terrorize your enemies. So it looks like, yeah, we'll be able to get, like, skeleton ornaments for our armor that looks like a Cabal skeleton. That one, I want to say that looks like a Hive, but it could be a Fallen, I'm not entirely sure. It, it's definitely not a Cabal, but those look cool nonetheless. I think the red skeleton on a Warlock would actually look pretty sweet. And then we got some of the Eververse stuff here. So if you did not get the Broomstick Sparrow last year, you are going to get another chance at doing it and getting that bad boy. Looks like there's going to be an Omnigool mask that we can get as well, a Jack-O-Lantern Hive mask, a Pterodactyl Skeleton-style Sparrow, a Jack-O-Lantern Ghost Shell, Oh, the ghost shell with the little, like, little bat costume on the ghost. That looks amazing. That looks so cute. Although, I want the cat ghost shell to come back. That thing was awesome. Now this, I have no idea what this is. Uh, looking at the skull on the front of it, it looks like one of the ornaments from Bad Juju. But how the thing is put together... Well, actually, no. Let's take a closer look at this. This, this is a sparrow. This is definitely a sparrow. It almost looked like a gun for a minute, but, like, looking right here at the end, that's clearly a seat. And those are handles right there. That's a sparrow. And then I guess we're getting a new emote as well. To those witches and warlocks out there who are looking for some good, clean fun, your favorite spooky sparrow has returned. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to make sure that we get that thing. The Festival of the Loss is a time to honor those who have passed on. Make sure to let your crucible enemies remember it forever with their own personal tombstone. We are going to see that so much in the Crucible that it's going to make me never want to play Crucible again. That is going to become so toxic so fast. <laughs> Which means I'm going to uh, maliciously use it. Every chance I get, I kill somebody. I'm going to throw down that tombstone. Join us in the Tower and Beyond and help us celebrate the Festival of the Lost beginning on October 29th and concluding on November 19th. Okay, so I was five days off. If you still got a sweet tooth for delectable details, head over to our official Festival of the Lost guide. Yeah, let's check that out. Let's check that out right now. So, what we got? And God, my eyes are burning so bad right now. I am so sorry. I keep wiping my eyes. 
All right, so participation requirements, uh, escape the Cosmodrome to unlock the tower. So you New Light guys, you had to have at least completed the first mission, which is basically like the introductory mission. And uh, power level requirement is 770. So for you new guys, you only need to be 20 points higher than your base starter level. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So you'll be able to play this with no problem. Uh, da, 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 da. Haunted Forest. Minimum required, 750 power. This standard version of the Haunted Forest includes matchmaking. will pair players until a fire team of three has been assembled. Available for pretty much everything. Um... Firewalled Haunted Forest, that's if you want to go in alone or you want to go in with a dedicated team, um, you're going to want to do Firewalled. That way it doesn't match make you up. And let's see some of the rewards that Abel Levante is going to give you. Chocolate Strange Coins and the candies. Candies look like little engrams, that's adorable. And then bounties, of course she's going to have bounties. And then the masks. And the wolves. All right, so we're all going to be starting off with a Crypt Arc mask, and we're going to have to turn it into something else. This is what the grab bags are going to look like. And Festival of the Lost Mods. Now we're talking. Uh, higher purpose, significant damage resistance while airborne, damage to all enemies, increased heavy ammo drop on kills. Nice vampiric touch. Precision kills trigger health regeneration. I am immediately walking into the Haunted Forest with a bow. <laughs> Just twang. Hey, I'm healed again. Sweet. Uh, precision kills grant grenade and melee energy. Nice. And, ooh, we got the triumph list here. Here we go. Uh, complete all the triumphs. Acquire exclusive Festival of the Lost 2019 weapon. So get the Braytech Werewolf. Collect strange coins. Uh, complete a number of bounties. Brush your teeth or your mastication module. We're going to be brushing our teeth? What? <laughs> That's going to be a thing we have to do in the game now? Promoting proper hygiene? I mean, I'm about it, but I'm going to need to know how to do it in the game. Defeat terrors in the Haunted Forest. Acquire all Festival of the Lost 2019 masks. Okay, so these are a lot of the same triumphs that were here last year. So I'm definitely down for it. Festival of the Lost was a ton of fun last year. The Haunted Forest was a ton of fun. Uh, I'm glad to see it make a return, and I'm definitely going to play the absolute hell out of it, because there's no way in hell I'm not getting the Braytech Werewolf Auto Rifle. So, yeah, definitely going to be looking forward to that bad boy. Let me know what you think about the Festival of the Lost down in the comments below. Are you looking forward to it, or are you just going to be like, eh, whatever. Just, I'm just going to wait until the dawning so I can make cookies. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate the support. If you're new to the channel, please hit that follow button. And if you want to catch the Destiny 2 action live, head over to my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Prime. We play Destiny all the time, plus a bunch of other stuff. Thank you again for watching, everybody, and I'll see you later.